Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with another beginner builds with, of course, your host Frank and Jeff Sosa. Say hello, Jeff. Hello. And today we're going to talk about Orange Aura Mastery. Uh, this mastery currently is actually worded to where your uh, all of your energy attacks still plus one life card of damage, and your styled energy attacks cost a minus one to a minimum of one. So, of course, this mastery did get a uh, an update, a little bit of a nerf mid-season here. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this mastery. Of course, you can find the updated image on the Dead Zone block. But anyway, this mastery is all about um, kind of filtering out your drills from your board uh, to give you a drill of your choice. Um, so it's really good at consistently giving you the drills that you want for a certain matchup. Not to mention, it does activate drills that have a one enter play effect, which we do have a few in our build. And of course, there is the constant plus one life card modifier on all of your energy attacks. So uh, it's going to be putting a lot of your attacks into critical damage threshold range pr um, pretty quickly. And of course, this master does a great job with all of Orange's support to just throw out big heater energy attacks at your opponent. And so with an Orange Mastery, you want to run drills. And with Aura Mastery, we have a lot of drills to run in the deck. Partially because you can always destroy and search for whichever drill you need for the occasion, as well as ways to get drills back from the discard pile after they're destroyed. So first drill, we have Possession Drill. In case if you draw any extra drills in your hand, you can draw two cards, then either discard two cards or discard a style drill from your hand. It's a way to hand filter in such a drill heavy deck. Orange Aura Drill, plus two life cards of damage, pretty straightforward. Orange Examination Drill makes it so when you have an energy attack or any attack that has a hit effect, you can do an additional raise or lower of player's anger one. So some great anti-anger as well as when it enters play, you can destroy allies. So if you have ways to cycle the drill in and out, it's a good way to clear allies. Orange Intensity Drill. If you perform a successful styled attack, you can trigger this drill to then have the damage be unpreventable as well as it has a plus one damage mod. So the mods stack up pretty quick with Aura Mastery. Energy Phasing Drill, you can have your attack deal minus two less when it's successful to destroy a setup or drill. And just remember on when su successful happens, you have to make sure you trigger those before your opponent actually takes the damage. Orange Absorption Drill is good if you're worried about going up against physical beat decks and taking physical damage to regain your stages. Just a really easy way to gain stages against those particular kinds of decks. Now, all the characters we are suggesting are Earthlings, so you can run Orange Attraction Drill, where at the start of your rejuvenation step, you can rejuvenate a card from your discard pile that's styled, as well as Attraction Drill is just a good way to help protect all your other drills by milling cards off the top of your deck to make sure that the drill doesn't leave play. Orange Entanglement. Back in the day, you used to run Orange Checkup Drill, but now that has been frozen. So now Entanglement is a survivor to that drill. When it comes into play during combat, you can trigger the search, or if the drill's already out, it's just an extra rejuve too. And then one of the best drills for this particular mastery is Redacted Drill from the newest set. Uh, that when it's destroyed once per turn, even though it says rejuvenate, it did get errata to now say banish the drill instead to search your life deck for a non-style drill. So you can throw in a few non-style drills, banish this drill in order to search them out of the deck. And then, of course, using it with the mastery because you destroyed a drill, you get another drill out. So you can get redacted out, blow it up, get another drill out from the mastery effect and then also from its own effect. And the non-style drill that is easily to recommend for an Aura deck is Gravity Training Drill. Just plus one stage, plus one life to all your attacks. So moving in <clears throat> out of our drills into our blocks here, uh, we recommend two of each uh, physical and energy block. We run uh, Orange Obstruction. Now this card has a little anti-anger on it. It's got some endurance. It's an energy block. But what's really nice is that if you've used your mastery uh, when entering combat, for example, to destroy a drill to go search for a different drill, you'll be able to recover a drill from your discard pile. So uh, just a nice way to kind of go uh, net neutral on the uh, the drill drill state there. 
Uh, we also recommend Orange Dismissal. Now, we do have a few drills in the deck that have effects when they enter play, like, uh, uh, for example, Examination Drill, or if you cycle out uh, into play an Entanglement Drill, you can then go activate this in, on your action to go get another block, um, as well as just the ability to get extra, some extra filtering um, is really, really nice. If you've used a power on a drill, for example, like the Possession Drill or uh, the Intensity Drill, you're able to cycle them out to put something else out instead that you might want. Uh, we have two physical blocks, of course. Refocus is kind of always, it's much like Obstruction, where it's going to get you a drill out of your discard pile when you play it. Um, the only difference is that this is always going to get you a, a drill, so really, really good there. And as well as Orange Swerve, uh, you trade a drill on the table to get a uh, second use of this block, so you can block up to two physical uh, attacks for the cost of one drill. Not to mention you gain stages both times, uh, which can be really critical in a matchup against stage beats. Event-wise, we always, always recommend you run Orange Meditation in any Orange deck, regardless of what people say. Because <laughs> um, yeah. the event itself making it so that if your opponent's leveling by anger, it's changed to zero, and then all anger goes to zero, is just too strong. And then if you really don't need it for that particular matchup, you can always just discard it from your hand for a styled energy attack which with this mastery will actually only cost one stage and deal six life. So, and uh, even on its worst day, this is just an energy attack that costs one stage, does six life, and has two endurance. Like, what more could you ask for? Yes. Uh, currently, this card is a limit two, however, um, and as far as the current COD goes, so keep that in mind. Then we have Confrontation as well as Sphere and Time, just staples, but we recommend running both Confrontation and Sphere in this deck because you want your own events to go off as well as you want your Confrontation to help kind of see your opponent's hand and take out key cards that may stop you. Or if you accidentally draw into too many drills, you can hopefully prevent some of that incoming damage. And then Orange Blazing Aura, just run one or two of these that when they're attached, you also get to search your life deck for a drill. But the main um, advantage is at the end of combat, you can choose a drill in your discard pile and rejuvenate it. So as you destroy a drill from the mastery, you can always get a drill back at the end of combat. As well as this is a way to recuperate your non-styled drills hmm. because the end of combat search doesn't care if it's styled or not. Same with even the regular search. Moving into our attacks, uh, again, this mastery is all about, you know, plus one lifing all of your energy attacks. Um, your styled ones are going to cost one less stage. So on that note, of course, we want to run Orange Palm Charge. Uh, this card, the way it is worded, of course, says uh, you, you it's an energy attack costing one stage. Uh, you attach your MP. Of course, it's going to make your attacks, your styled attacks cost minus one uh, stage to a minimum of zero. And so the way that works is your master is going to first uh, apply put a uh, minus one stage cost on all of your attacks to a minimum of one, and then this card overrides that to make it a minimum of zero. So now, if you get a Palm Charge on your uh, MP while playing Aura, all of your energy, uh, styled energy attacks are uh, going to cost minus two stages to a minimum of zero. So in this case, uh, I think every attack in this deck is going to be free. So now you don't have to worry about stage costs. Um, not to mention this card gives you a plus one life card modifier on all of your styled energy attacks, and you already have the Aura Mastery going, so now you have a plus two on the board really quickly and easily. Uh, we have Orange Fierce Attack. Now this card is essentially uh, uh, an all dig your grave type effect. All of your style energy attacks can't be prevented. And it has a nice uh, anti-anger uh, effect on it as well. Um, with the Mastery, of course, it's going to be dealing 5 life right out of the gate. So you're going to be able to deal critical damage with this attack um, the moment that you see it. Not to mention it makes all of your attacks preventable. Um, this is like your kill. This is really like your big kill combat card uh, in Orange Aura. Three Orange Stare Down uh, is what I would recommend. I think Jeff would too. This card is just uh, kills anything on the table, essentially, that you don't want to see. Um, no reason not to run this card. We have three Orange Quick Toss. Uh, this is a multi-use attack. It does have the ability to lower anger, and it does potentially gain you some stages. It is a human trait uh, to get the second use of this card. However, all the MPs that we recommend with Aura uh, on this video are all going to get that um, second use because they all are human trait. 
We have Sweeping Blast. Um, this is, again, a very, very powerful. Another kill combat kind of orange card. Uh, you rejuvenate a style drill you control, and your opponent cannot play non style cards. So this is one of those cards that if you draw into it, you're going to lead the combat by activating this effect um, to potentially shut off entire hands that your opponent might have. It also stops your opponent from doing things like playing Dragon Balls um, with searching effects uh, and playing allies, etc. We have Orange Charge Blitz. Again, we are recommending only... Uh, um, human traded MPs, so this is a focused attack, has the ability, if you uh, have desperation, if it's the final attack in your hand, to shuffle three styled cards back into your life deck, and of course on hit has some pile management as well, so very, very powerful uh, energy attack to kind of close out your combat with. And of course finally, orange power point, um, very staple orange energy attack, it does allow you to search your life deck for a drill on hit, and it's got a ton of endurance and some pretty solid damage. Moving on, there are some other drills that we recommend. Uh, particularly in an aura deck, you can go two different routes. You could run some of the block drills, where if your opponent has not performed a successful version of that attack, then you can block it using the drill itself. Uh, as well as hiding drill is always good to just do minus two life cards on your opponent's attacks. However, if you don't like running those block drills, you can run orange freezing drill, where... Your attacks cannot be modified by your opponent's card effects, which is nice, uh, but not the main use of the card. The main use of the card is that your attacks can only be stopped by physical or energy combat cards. The reason why you don't run both is because if you run Freezing Drill, then it cancels out your own Steady Drill and Burning Aura Drill. So you kind of run one or the other. Uh, if you want a little more damage to stick, then you can run Freezing, but if you're feeling like you need to be a little more defensive, then you can run the block drills or hiding drill. We also recommend you probably pick uh, one of these supplemental uh, Omni blocks. Um, even if you go uh, freezing drill, there you're not always going to have it out, so there's a reason to maybe run one of these three. But uh, Knee Clash is great if you want some anger hate. Uh, Orange Juke is really good if you just want the ability to maybe um, consistently at least have a drill in your deck at worst because um, it does allow you to rejuvenate a drill if you are a little slower at grabbing drills out of your deck um, this does allow you to maybe get them into play again you only get a drill into play if you have three or less um, so keep that in mind as well as on the move um, this mostly is a nice medic haul if at worst it's a card draw so if you're a bit more aggressive have maybe a lower drill count and uh, or if you really want it for the, the tech effect against like red decks or oppressive decks, for example, that are going to be skipping you or Vegeta decks, um, it's always there as well. And then, of course, finally, um, if you aren't really finding um, dismissal or eruption maybe being your thing, or if you want to push a little more anger in the deck or endurance, um, orange energy catch is always a energy block that you can uh, maybe splash in in the place of one of the two energy blocks we'd recommend. Um, not to mention, it gives all of your attacks a plus two uh, stage modifier, which when you start to get things like gravity training drill out, um, you're suddenly dropping, you know, three, four extra stages on every attack you're doing. So just another way to push a little more damage too as well. Some other drills you can consider for the deck. Uh, these are more, again, more of your meta calls or however you want to play the, the deck itself. Uh, orange Shopping Drill makes it so your opponent can't banish cards from your discard pile, and when it leaves, you can banish the drill itself to search your discard pile for some cards and banish them if you want. Uh, orange Investigation Drill, just like Examination Drill, has a when enters play effect, which could be used multiple times uh, during the combat to banish an attached card in play. And then... If you're trying to go more of an anger build and you can throw out a few more other anger cards, uh, this is good for, for protecting your own anger because your anger can only be reduced by one at a time. Again, if you want to go more the energy route, then you can run Captivity Drill. And this drill makes it so every time that a energy combat card from your hand hits, it gains Raise Anger 1 and gain three stages. So some ways to gain some stages, some ways to gain some anger in order to help you leveling up. And then lastly, if you want to run a particular non-style drill with the deck um, to go with Redacted and you're okay with maybe just one or two gravity training and you just want more, uh, you can always run Showdown Drill, making it so players cannot draw cards from non-mastery effects. And this can be really strong depending on the matchup that you're going up against. And then finally, uh, if you'd like to, we do, as we already have one attached card in the deck, uh, Orange Palm Charge. If you don't really feel like you want to camp on your uh, 
level one or maybe two, or if you just, and you really want to like access your higher levels, uh, we do recommend Unleash as a potential consideration. Uh, of course, um, I guess not much more to say than that. Um, it does just guarantee, just, it's almost like having a, you know, uh, potentially fourth, fifth or sixth copy of Palm Charge, which is never bad um, at worst, so. And you're also running a Blazing Aura, which is another attached card. That is true. Yes, you could run true. two Palm Charge, two Blazing Aura, and Unleashed, and it won't affect too much of the deck count. No. Moving on, we recommend three characters for this. Our first character we recommend is Goku, obviously, <laughs> from the newest set, uh, the current boogeyman of the game mm -hmm. uh, as of recording this video. We're on as level one. You can search your life deck for a non-infinite drill and place them in play. And then I'll check to see if you have three drills in play. And if you do, you can advance a level. And then the parenthetical makes it so when you advance a level, you can't win by a PPV, which you're okay with Goku if it's a free level. And then your drills are not discarded when you go up a level. So it's a way of protecting them as you level up. Once you reach level two, you get to search your life deck for a style drill and place them into play. And then itself has a pretty good energy attack, where if you're desperate, you can rejuvenate some of your style drills from the discard pile or banish zone, as well as a good some anger raise or anger hate, however you want to go about that. If you choose to go to the level build instead of camping level two, we obviously recommend the level three from the newest set. Um, just again, more ways to search drills from the deck, and you can search the discard pile if you're desperate. And then also ways to rejuvenate drills from the discard pile, and if you're desperate, it can be the banish zone. If you choose to run a level build, though, you have several level fours that you can do. You could go with the set seven level four just to search any zone for a styled card and just keep that in hand if you're going up an M against an MPPV deck. Orange Meditation every turn is never bad. <laughs> um, you could go with set one. Level 4 Goku, search your, any of the zones for up to 5 drills and place them into play. So you just have those drill mods out and all that extra damage all the time. Or you could go with the newest level 4 where you rejuvenate 5 drills from discard pile or banish zone and then a beefy energy attack with a little bit of rejuve if you're desperate. Uh, but dealing 4 life cards and then plus X, X being three times the number of drills you control. So if you control even five drills, that's an extra 15 stages, and it only gets better from there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some other Goku cards to consider. Uh, you could run Goku Search if you feel like you need some extra stage gain, rejuvenation, and drill search. Goku Spirit Bomb if you want to just throw in one or two with some attached cards and maybe unleashed just to, so as you passively gain stages with your PUR, you can put them on Spirit Bomb instead, since the deck has other ways to gain stages on the main character. You can also run Kaioken if you want to run the level build. Um, this is Banish after use nowadays, uh, but gain 6 Anger and just level up, wipe your drills, rejuvenate your drills using your other levels. And then, uh, because you the plus 1 mod on the Mastery is for all energy attacks, even though the stage reduction is only styled, um, we always recommend just running Assisted Kamehameha because it will gain the effects of all your other plus one life mods and then it's unstoppable, unpreventable, easily getting up to eight life cards. Our second MP that we recommend is going to be Android 18 uh, from the Revelation set, the hero version. Of course, Android 18 uh, makes all of your attacks with Android considered styled, so now they instantly get the minus one cost from the mastery, as well as 18 uh, minus one in the cost of all of your styled attacks uh, already to a minimum of zero. So again, works just like Palm Charge. Um, so essentially, right out of the gate, any attack that costs two or uh, less stages that's styled is instantly free. So now you don't have to worry about stage beats at all. Or at all. Uh, not to mention, she has the power to rejuvenate uh, cards on each one of her levels here uh, as you go up. So you could definitely choose to run her as a level uh, build, or you can definitely just kind of sit on level one. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of your choice. Uh, but there's benefit to going up with her as well as her powers just get better. And her level three and four start to tutor cards to your hand with Android in the title, um, which have great synergy within Orange. 
As far as the name cards go, uh, we have Android 18's Toss. Of course, this card's going to be free. Um, this card is really nice because it allows you to go search your uh, life deck for a setup drill or ally with Android in the title. And while normally you won't have that in, um, you won't have Android name cards in your deck unless you're 18 probably, uh, we do run her name cards that you can always be searching as well as a few drills that are really, really powerful as well. Android 18's Destructor Disc is an unstoppable attack. Uh, what's really crazy about this card is it is also considered styled because it's Android in title because of your um, powers. Um, but what's really cool is that if they do prevent any damage from it, you're going to be drawing a card. And because we have so many modifiers within the deck itself, uh, this attack's going to be very easily coming in for seven to eight or more life cards. Um, so in critical damage range, and if they do, again, block it, you're going to get a card. So really just a great all-around attack. If you want a little more defense uh, against uh, maybe like a really aggressive decks and you want to be able to end combat, we have Android 18's Armbreaker at disposal. It does have to hit, um, but it does allow you to end combat if the attack has hit. Of course, there's Android Rising Punch, just another card maybe if you're looking forward to trying to like level. This is something that you can also tutor uh, with an orange as well. We have Android Armbreaker, another card that you can tutor. This is more of a tech card if you anticipate a lot of Unleash decks. Um, this does stop your opponent from being able to you know, like use an Unleash to go up uh, or some of the other auto levelers in the game. Android Defensive Blast, you might consider this one. Um, this card is going to be considered styled as well as all of your other uh, Android cards. But if it hits, it makes all non-styled attacks lose all immediate effects. So very, very powerful against certain decks. Uh, this in tandem with Sweeping Blast can really cripple quite a few decks. So something to consider there. And then finally, the board cards we can tutor out here. Uh, while you can't grab Orange Leisure with an Android 18's um, uh, Toss, this is a great card that, uh, because you have Android trade being uh, Android 18, you're able to go search your life deck for essentially any board card that's in your deck and put it into play. So just added consistency um, and on, uh, sorry, on top of also being a defensive uh, block as well. So really nice there. Android Attack Drill, um, this is going to be one of your targets that you're going to probably want to hit with Android 18's Toss, and not to mention it's a freestyle drill that you can go grab with Orange Redacted Drill. Um, you can supplement, of course, uh, your gravity training uh, with this card for just a lot of extra uh, life card modifiers. So again, Android 18 actually gets access to some extra uh, onboard modifiers that some of our other choices don't have, but plus two life cards on all of your attacks is pretty wild. And in addition, you have Android Efficiency Drill. Should you want this card, um, it's something to consider. It really depends on maybe you might want to experiment with some different cards and different builds, but Android 18 has such a easy time uh, already not having to pay for any of your attacks as is, um, in addition to making uh, you know everything free uh, and just already modifying a bunch. So, But something to consider um, if efficiency drill if you would want to maybe try a, a different kind of build. Lastly, we recommend that you run Yamcha in an Aura deck. Um, with Yamcha, who's level one, so you have uh, two options. Uh, both are very similar. One has a higher power level, but just a free energy attack, lower your opponent's anger one, and if it hits, one version stops physical attacks, one version stops energy attacks uh, that your opponent performs at that combat. So just an easy way. Uh, just remember, if you run Freezing Drill, that the level one doesn't work. <laughs> So be wary of that. Um, but usually you're going to try to run either Anger or Unleashed because you really want to get to level 2, where when entering combat, you could lower your opponent's Anger 1, uh, and you may banish the top two cards of your discard pile to search for a styled energy attack and place it in your hand. Just an extra energy attack every combat, it's styled, as well as you gain another minus 1 um, stage mod, but this also applies to all energy attacks, so you can afford to run some more uh, cost-heavy ones. Uh, you could go to level 3, which then makes all your energy attacks unpreventable. So it's like having a fierce attack every time, and then when you, even when you reach this level, you get a draw card. And then on the level 3 power, you even have a draw card lowering or two. <laughs> Just really absurd level <laughs> if you want to go that high. And if you happen to get to 4, uh, all your attacks are now minus three stages, <laughs> and they deal plus three life, including the own free energy attack that you just gained. So, you know, eight life cards off of just your level, your own mods and mastery mod, pretty good. Um, you have some other attacks that you can run. You can run Yamcha Spear Ball. Uh, costs one stage, but again, if you're on level two or higher, then it costs zero. 
and it can be used three times um, every time they hit, it would lower anger, and then it itself would deal four damage each attack just with your mastery and no other added bonuses. But the moment you add plus one, plus two, plus three, you're now dealing 15 lifeguards. <laughs> yeah. With just one card. Yeah. Yamcha's Rescue, one of, if not the best uh, block in the game. Uh, first of all, it can block a styled or, or not style, a physical or energy attack. And it's a physical combat card, so it gets around focused. And it shuffles itself into the life deck after use. Just nuts. And then if you banish it uh, when taking damage, you can choose to end combat. So even if it's the last card of damage and you banish it, even though you, you didn't need to use that extra endurance, you can end combat in situations that are unfavorable to you. You can also run Playful Punch because our level 4 does have a power level of 500,000 or less. Um, you can use this as a to block a non-styled attack, so very much kind of like on the move would. Uh, for MP powers, you can just use this to block one of those. Or you can use it as a physical attack, uh, gaining you some stages and lowering anger if you're uh, worried about that. You also have Yamcha's Expert Assistance, a setup that you can use as a plan to play as an action if your power level is zero, but also just some ways to end combat and cause your opponent to pass uh, as a setup, which is really good in controlling the combat itself. If you're looking for a little bit extra damage and you reach your higher levels, then Pesky Barrage is also a card you can run. It turns into a double attack if your uh, level four is 500,000 or less. So at least this is going to be six life cards done twice and then also energy toss is a great uh, card to run for particularly Yamcha because you have only one trait as a human and so energy attack costing one but again if you're on your higher levels cost zero then raise lower raise anger one lower your opponent's anger two choose three cards in your opponent's discard pile banish them so it's like a devastating blow and then it also deals four life, but five life with the mastery. So, uh, one lots thing to damage with Yamcha. One thing to note on the playful punch is, regardless of if you use it as a block or as an attack, you do get the five stages in lower anger one. That just I just wanted to mention that real quick. So. Yep. But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, really, Aura Mastery's got a lot going on for it. I mean, you don't have to ask too many people about the state of orange. Um, but there's a lot to go on there. As you can see, a lot of drills that modify damage, a lot of drills that kind of have some nice utility. Um, it's really your choice as far as how you want to round out the deck. But we do generally recommend um, at least to start maybe playing a lot of these staple energies that aren't really about anger game. If you want to try it out, you can try to run anger builds. Uh, but if you're going to really try to go for leveling, we recommend Unleashed because it slots into this build really well. And uh, each of these MPs all have their own strengths uh, that they bring to the style of Orange Aura. So I hope this was insightful for anybody looking to try to um, test out Orange Aura. And again, uh, we'll be doing more of these uh, as we go on here. So look forward to more beginner builds. Jeff, would you like to say anything before we sign out here? Thanks for watching. Happy building. Happy building, guys. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>